My name is Sarah Ponnet. I work as a business developer at Media Evolution. I'm here to present the next speakers at this session called Moving to the Cloud. Uh, I just like to uh, make a note that we have a little change in the speakers today. Uh, Svenung from Hyper Island couldn't make it, but we have the very fantastic Anton Johansson from Twingly. So uh, with further, uh, no further ado, let's uh, give the hoorays for Anton. <laughs> Hello everyone, nice to be here. Uh, so, I'm Anton Johansson, I'm the Chief Marketing Officer at uh, Twingly, but I'm also Product Owner, which means that I'm responsible for our product development for some of our products. I'm, uh, I'm here to talk about the cloud, but uh, actually the cloud sounds so unsexy in my words. I, it feels like I'm going to talk about like SharePoint or Microsoft SharePoint or something uh, I don't want to talk about. So I. I changed this a little bit, so I, was, I want to talk about frictionless. Um, does this work? No? Uh, okay, sorry. I need to go to the first one. Sorry. So, so I'm going to talk about the cloud, but I'm going to talk about it as an enabler for a frictionless world. So, and when you think about it, it's uh, the Friction is something we don't want in this world, and and everything striving towards a frictionless world. So, when we talk, when we building new products, when we trying new apps, when we tr when we talk about innovation, it's all about removing friction in our daily lives. So everything is becoming easier, everything becoming easy to use, easier to build, and and actually it's it's kind of our laziness that that's come in in this in this matter. So I'm going to talk about two areas, and it's product development and it's a user experience. And uh, when you see you here in, on, on, the, on, this, on the screens here in, in this room, um, the user experience part is kind of interesting because it's more about removing, removing so much of, of the actual um, interaction so you can all put the energy on the actual decision. So, so the, the picture here is of, of one click to buy on Amazon.com, so you can buy ebooks with one click. It's you, the, the only thing you, you like thinking about is whether you will buy this or not, not about fill out, fill out different forms, etc. And when it comes to product development, it's more about what I'm going to talk about now. It's more, it's more about an infrastructure. So instead of thinking about uh, how to build things, we're thinking about what to build. Uh, and this is, this is possible because the ideal movement as well. So it's, it's the cloud and the, and the tools you use from the cloud to build things, but it's also about the ideal movement, which means that you can work a lot more faster and a lot more easier. So these two together makes a great infrastructure to, uh, to build products in the, in the product development space. And, and this means that you can build an, an app or a, a new company or uh, that startups today are built in like two months instead of like two years. You, don't, you need very little money and very small teams to build really great products. And uh, this is possible due to, to a few services or, or tools or platforms. And, and one of these is Heroku, which is um, a platform to build and maintain and, and like host your, your, your apps on. And this is, it, this is not like rocket science, but it's, they're not hosting, only hosting your apps. They're also helping you with like backend, with, with uh, load testing, with a lot of the other things that are like uh, you don't want to work with. Like for when we started Twingly for five years ago, it was we needed to like have build our own service. You know, we set up a lot of service and 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 work a lot really hard. Today you can just start a account on the on the Heroku and you can get going in like a day instead of like three months. So that's just in five years. Then we have like Google App, and which is basically the same, but for a, for a, that have other other features as well. And and the thing about this this type of of services is that you you don't only host them; you host your app there. You also like build your app there. So so you get a lot of the free of of the backend is already there. So you don't need to like build your own search engine for your service. You have like the infrastructure to build it. So you, with a few clicks or a few few lines of code, you can actually have like 
the, the search in, in it directly. And you can't uh, talk about the cloud without mention Amazon, of course. Amazon Web Services is like many of the of the web, of the web apps we're using today, like Instagram, Foursquare, or Twingly as well, are using Amazon to host. And and Amazon isn't just uh, another like web hosting provider. It's they're doing a lot more. So you you can you can help a lot of you get a lot of help from Amazon when you build your apps, and it's getting a lot lot more faster. So basically, instead of focusing your your time on like building and setting up a lot of servers and and backend etc., you can build stuff really really fast. So and that's also why like hackathons like 24-hour business camp or music hack is coming because you can actually start a company in 24 hours today. Instead of a few a few um, a few months, it's like a few hours to build an app. But I'm also going to talk about user experience as I talked about and. And uh, when it comes to user experience, the cloud is more like the connectivity in, in the, uh, for the apps. So with 4, 3G and 4G, you, you should all try 4G when you're here in Sweden, because 4G is really good here. Um, this makes also great infrastructure to, to like use the apps. So instead of, of just uh, use, the, use the apps and, uh, like you did like before, you can get the connectivity and you can, they can talk to each other, you know, APIs, etc. Um, and when you think about it, it's it's kind of boring to have a, a folder with photos that you can't access from different devices. Of course, it should be shared and, and synced with different devices. And another example is think about having a, an app for maps on your phone, which can't show you where you are. That's kind of boring, right? So, but that's. That's what the cloud makes to these apps. It's, it makes it possible to see where you are. It makes it possible to see where to go. And this is because it's in the cloud. Without, without the cloud, this wouldn't be possible with Google Maps, for example. Then you have like spreadsheets. That's really boring to work with, but sometimes you need to do it. And then and it, that, that, that become really easy to share in real time, so you can edit them. Uh, Together, etc., and that's what Google Docs does, and this is all possible due to uh, to, the, to the cloud. Uh, and when you think about it, this is all becoming like more of a frictionless experience. You can you can use these apps, uh, and and doesn't need to think about how to to send this Excel sheet to to your to your account or or anything. You can just share it with a, with a button and then and then use it. Uh, but the most most epic uh, frictionless uh, experience is Spotify, uh, in my opinion. I, I mean, that's the the really really epic way, thing with with uh, with Spotify is that it's so frictionless. You don't need to to understand how to use it; just use it, and that's when when it comes to really interesting. You can really dig into music instead of of thinking about if it, you should download it in MP3 or with DRM free or anything. So, uh, and uh, I mean, for a few years ago, I had a big MP3 collection at home, and, and I had an iPod or a Jens of Sweden MP3 player, but it was, and it, I was really happy. But I mean, when Spotify came, I understood, understood that this is, this is what I want to do, because I'm really lazy, and I want to use the most frictionless experience I can have with these type of services. Uh, and this is also big in games. I mean, have you tried Word Feud? This is Word Feud. It's a really popular game app for, for, for iPhone or, and Android. Um, and the connectivity in games have become really big. I mean, World of Warcraft was just the beginning. Now we have Xbox Live, which means that, that video games is becoming, you play with your own friends, but from, from, on different devices. Um, and this is, it's, it's the biggest trend in, in games right now that you actually can get the connectivity because of the cloud, and that's, that's the experience you want to, to have. And it, it wasn't so, uh, so, uh, uh, so frictionless when you had to like, call all your friends to come home and play video games every Friday night just to play, but now it is frictionless. You can just click, do you want to, to join me, and then, and then you can play. Um, and you, of course, Facebook is doing this as well, and Facebook Connect is the best example, I think, because when you log in to, to Spotify, for example, uh, it's not just a, a, a nice button to log in with. It's also a nice button to... So when you click on Login with Facebook, 
you also get all your friends there. So you don't need to like find your friends and find which friends to uh, end their playlist. You, you have them there already. So they're not only becoming a platform for login, they're becoming a platform for f see which, uh, which friends are there and, and how you can interact with them. Uh, and this is becoming like the most epic uh, frictionless you experience to like, you know, invite your friends. So it's one button and then, and then you have a, a, a frictionless experience. Uh, whoa. Okay. <laughs> Was it that boring? Uh, so when you think about um, when you think about how I think a great way to like try this for your own app or for your own services is like if you turn on the airplane mode on your iPhone or Android phone or smartphone, is is your app working as you want, or is the apps you actually using working as you want? I mean, when I turn on airplane mode on my phones, I I don't. I, I can't use any apps because everyone is connected in some ways to the internet. And that means that the cloud is, is really, really important today. It's so big part of the user experience uh, that you really need to understand it uh, and hopefully build some stuff on it. And that's also what I want to talk about today, like make the world frictionless. I mean, we're really, really lazy and we can build things really, really fast because of the cloud and we can really big build really, really cool stuff that has a great user experience because they are frictionless. So try to make the world a little bit more frictionless in the cloud. Compete, don't compete with the cloud, compete in the cloud. And uh, thank you.